Well, you are watching News Desk. Thank you very much for choosing KTN News. And we are all about the vetting of the CS nominees as the country anticipates a functioning new cabinet after President William Ruto, of course, uh, sent away 21 cabinet secretaries following the protest by Gen Z's earlier on. An agriculture cabinet secretary nominee, Andrew Karanja, has issued a stern warning to cartels operating within the Ministry of Agriculture, emphasizing his commitment to integrity, Karanja declared that cartels in Kilimo House will soon be out of business. He was the first nominee before the panel on day two. Uh, Honorable Mure, the issue about uh, the crisis in the sector. If I'm approved, I, can, I want to guarantee you that uh, and, the, and, the, and the mama boga, the tea farmer, for instance, the issue about this uh, piling up of uh, tea in Mombasa. I will be the next plane to Mombasa to see what is happening and to do. If I have the powers within the row, I will do it the next day. Because there is no need of having tea piling up when farmers are expecting them the tea to be sold. So uh, I can guarantee that if I'm approved, some of this crisis needs only to be handled uh, you know, you go there and handle them as they, because it doesn't make any economic sense for you to have tea, which is uh, spiding up 32 billion. Farmers are expecting money. Uh, so that will be handled. Tomatoes uh, flooding from the East African community. This is uh, an, uh, an, uh, an East African community issue. There might be issues to do with tariffs and what we need to do. We intergovernmental, we interministerial, with the, our, our colleagues in the, inter, in the East African community docket to see what we can do because sometimes you don't want also to escalate with our neighbors. It, it is, doesn't. Uh, so I also look at that and uh, I can assure you that, uh, that uh, we need to, to do. Yes, we also need to look at ourselves. Why is uh, tomatoes? from our neighboring countries coming at a cheaper cost. Address the, 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 what we, I would call the, the root cause of the problem. Is it our inputs which are high? Is it our methods which are, is it our varieties which are not good? Because I'm not sure our neighboring countries are subsidizing uh, their tomatoes. So there must be something they are doing, we are not doing. And we need to look at that and address it so that and a sustainable baby because even if we, we put the barriers and then uh, we are producing at uh, 3,000 or 2,000 and they are producing at uh, 2,000, always the, the, the market will always shift to, towards them. So we need also to look at that. Coffee industry. I will also look at the coffee farmer and tell them we will finalize whatever reform. If I am approved, it's one of the, the areas which I have a comparative advantage, having worked in the coffee industry for long, and I know what is required to be done. The reforms which are remaining should be done so that the coffee farmer enjoys the, the, whatever is supposed to be enjoyed. Well, that is the Agriculture Cabinet Secretary nominee, Andrew Karanja, who appeared before the committee on the vetting earlier on. The committee also just concluded with Adam Dwale, who's the nominee for the Environment Ministry. But of course, they will be resuming the session shortly. For now, I exit the studios. Keep it right here for all the information. My name is Anki Doris Sombat. Remember, the process goes all the way to Sunday. But coming up is Inside Sports for the latest in sports. Thank you for watching.